Hello Pisces, this is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss with your November 2020 mini tarot reading. Let's take a shuffle here and see what's coming up for you. Oh my goodness, happy holidays to you, uh, all of you that are celebrating Thanksgiving. It is my favorite holiday, although it's getting a little lonely because, you know, we're not gathering this year. So much is going on in this universe. So let's make the best of it. That is a really, really good idea. So let's take a peek here and see what's going on. Let's see here. Okay, it looks like finances seem to be heavy on people's mind, and I certainly can understand that. Uh, that feeling of disappointment, a lot of tension. I'm picking up a lot of tension in the home area for some. Talk about it. You know, don't try to hide it. Pain that is stuffed down will pop out at the most unplanned times. Um, and, you know, do what's best for you and your family. You don't have to listen to everyone outside other than, you know, please wash your hands, wear your mask and all that good stuff. Take care of yourself that way. But how you run your household. Maybe it's time to have a meeting. Some of you are seem to be having some difficulty in that area. You have a lot of spirit help around you. Don't forget to ask them for help. Opportunities definitely will present themselves. And they might be, maybe, you know, just, you know, you might be a banker, but somebody needs help putting their roof up for some extra money. Or I, I'm using that as an example, but it, it's going to be, um, different how help shows up for a lot of folks this month you know for extra money for extra food whatever it might be um but i also feel that it's time to to do some look inside you know what are my wants wishes and daydreams maybe you need to connect with old friends whether it be phone or zoom uh, or however or skype however it might be that you would contact them because i think and not that we want to share misery with others, but sometimes just to know we're not alone or, you know, we're not the only one going through something. Ace of Wands says change is coming, beginning of a journey, beginning of a family, beginning of a business, whatever it might be. Sometimes during difficult times like right now is a good time to make plans for starting that business or working with what you have. Or finding a way maybe you're writing a book whatever it is it's a good time to really take that extra time to get it started and if counsel is needed oh, excuse me um, <clears throat> um, such as you know you need an attorney you need to see the doctor whatever it might be get that taken care of best you can alms dispense with justice said there will be an improvement in finances how I'm not sure but just because the tower is here sometimes and this has been I've this has been for everybody. It's like it clears the way. Sometimes, you know, disruption can certainly clear the way and make us make choices that we didn't think we were ready to make. You have the two of swords, you can't choose wrong. It says you will be presented with opportunities and do the best you can. There's already things in the works. Spirit cards all over here. If you're asking for an angelic help, ask and then get out of the way. If you, whoever you pray to it certainly can hear you and see, you know, a lot of your struggles. And it just seems like the Wheel of Fortune means things are going to get better here. There's going to be a lot of commotion around at your house, your family, you know, or something like that. But it says you're going to kind of know what you need to do. And that's a, that's a big deal. Sometimes when we know what we need to do and then ask and pray for the energy and the courage to step forward to do it. Because we don't have to stay with the, the Five of Pentacles, which to me represents a lot of pain. A lot of, uh, like even could be Dark Night of the Soul. Um, definitely something you're waiting for. Sometimes we have to step up and ask for it. Sometimes we have to get it started. Just don't, you know, feel like you can't move, you can't breathe because yes, yes, Pisces, you certainly can. It looks like um, you are strong and you're going to get what you deserve. And that's in a good way. I'm smiling. I feel really confident about that for a lot of you. And it seems like you feel like an apprentice because things are so different. You know, a lot of people are working from home and I hope you've learned the, the, the skills of um, getting those things done that need to be done. It says you are, so keep it up. And I think a lot of people are going to like this idea of working from home eventually. Um, Ace of Cups says when your mind is filled with spirit, it fills your body to overflowing. What you think about, you become definite changes over the next three months. That has been prominent too. And I feel there for the better because I see joy or feel joy coming for you. You're going to be making a lot of choices here and make them burden free. Do not feel guilty. Do not let anyone make you feel guilty. When you find your peace, it's easy to spread it around with those you love, but you have to get peace and joy in, you know, in what you want 
and then let it happen or bring it into fruition. And I feel that's going to happen. This is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss Pisces. Thank you so much for dropping by to see me. Happy holidays to all of you who celebrate. And I'll see you again next month.